Phil, how are the boys looking forward to Judgment Day 4? Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a big occasion for the boys um, to go up to the stadium and, and play in front of a massive crowd. I think it's uh, around 63,000 tickets sold already. Um, it's a great occasion and um, it's great to play in front of a massive crowd. Now you yourself, uh, last week you were standing on this very pitch being farewelled by your fans. How important would it be for you to win at the stadium in the final season with the Scarlets? Yeah, um, we we fell out of the top four last weekend and um, uh, we need to win our next two games uh, starting with the Dragons now in the stadium next week if we want to uh, get back into that top four. Now the Blues are a bit of a, on a roll, so how important is it for Scarlets to win and stay above them and be the top Welsh side in the championship? Uh, yeah, it's um, massively important for us as a region. Uh, we always want to play uh, in the European competition at the top flight and um, we, it's, it's a must for us to win uh, against the Dragons if we want to stay in that top, uh, top position. Now as a player, you obviously want to play at the top, but is it good for the championship that the results are still you know, really important in the latter stages of the season? Because sometimes it's all over by now, isn't it? Yes, yeah. What you find is normally the the top two teams are, are playing it out for each other yeah. just to win the league. But you know, I think looking at the uh, looking at the uh, table last weekend before we played, um, I think there was some teams uh, who could have gone into the top four. So it's um, it's great when you got those teams which are lower down the the league still playing for an opportunity to get some silverware at the end of the season. It's got to be pretty good for the championship, though, doesn't it? Because it's always seen as the, uh, you know, the compared to the Aviva Premiership, it's always thought of much higher standard. But the fact that so many teams are vying for those vital positions, it's got to be good for the league, doesn't it? Yes, it, it is good for the league. You know, um, and it's it's not just the Welsh teams as well. You've got the yeah. best Irish teams are, and uh, the best Scottish teams as well, and it's putting great pressure on the the top six in the league. To be fair. Now you yourself, you're no stranger to playing at the stadium. You're also uh, no stranger to playing for Clendovery, who uh, the following day playing the Swellet Cup final. Are you looking forward to that? Uh, yeah, it'll be good to see uh, Clendovery back in the in the final again. Uh, I was involved back in, I think it was 2007, when they played in the last final. And at half-time, uh, we were losing to the Blues, but second half, we, we put a great performance in and uh, we came back to uh, to win the, win the Cup. And... Uh, it was nearly 10 years ago now, so... Yeah, time flies. Be, yeah, it'd be a great time uh, to go and watch uh, Llandavri uh, win the trophy again. And what does it say about the Welsh region that the two feeder clubs, if you like, are in the final? Yeah, it's good. Um, it goes to show the quality of players we've got uh, playing in the region as well. And, uh, you know, you're only going down uh, one level, so those boys aren't far of um, coming out and playing on this uh, pitch probably next season. And you've been in a Clandovery side where players have gone on to play for the region and and the international side. So is it a good pathway, do you think, for um, players to shine on that stage? Yeah, it is. It's, it's not only the players who've gone on to play in regional rugby, but on that day with me was um, in the back row was Jonathan Mills, who now, uh, after playing for about five or six seasons in London Welsh, has been in sale for the last couple of seasons. So it does go to show that that level does produce um, top quality rugby players. Phil, all the best. Thank you.